Kim Kim Revenge located in Pasir Gudang, Johor on 6 March 2019, tons of hazardous waste such as heavy metals and toxic materials were illegally disposed into the river. As a result, 975 students in the vicinity developed signs and symptoms of respiratory disease due to the chemical poisoning. Therefore, new process is required to ensure the cleanliness of water. In this video, we focus on treating water with activated carbon. So, what is absorption? Have you ever take a good hot shower and then when you look at your mirror, there's a fog there. But at some point, it will disappear. And do you know why is it? Absorption. So we have adsorbate, which is the molecule, and adsorbate. Adsorbate will move, and when it touch the surface of adsorbent, will it go through? The answer is no, because that is absorption. In absorption, the molecule will only attach to the surface of the adsorbent because of the interaction between Van der Waals force. So as the result, the adsorbates will attach throughout the surface of the adsorbent, and this is adsorption. How can we use adsorption in water treatment? So here we have sample of polluted water from river and of course it is not clean. We need clean water for a living. In this project, we will use sugar cane since it's quite a burden in Malaysia so it will help on keeping this project run smoothly. When people are making sugar cane drink, they will have these leftovers and then we will use it. We will crush the leftovers and till it turn to ash. And after that, we will heat it. After that, we will treat ash with hydrochloric acid and dry to introduce functional group to ash that attract pollutant. And we will get activated carbon. We put this activated carbon into the polluted water. So the activated carbon will act as absorbent while pollutants are reabsorbent. Pollutant will attract it to the pore of activated carbon because of their functional group. As a result, since the pollutant had attracted to the activated carbon, the water is now clean. Now you have your clean water. But here's one thing. Carbon will no longer hold that much pollutant, so we need to rinse it and then we can use it again. Decreasing of graph shows that pollutants being absorbed by activated carbon, then increasing after it becomes saturated with pollutants. Therefore, activated carbon needs to be rinsed so that pore is clear enough to trap more pollutants. This observation could be due to the presence of suspended or decaying organic and inorganic compounds, which indicates harmful effect to the environment and aquatic life. As a result, utilization of sugarcane bagels was studied to treat wastewater. The current finding is only focusing on the optimization of material developments and factors that could contribute significantly to the overall efficiency of the system. For all particle size range, the activated carbon from Begis was the most efficient and also the only one which succeeded in completely eliminating the residual chlorine. Based on our studies, adsorption is one of the effective ways to treat polluted water. In addition, we chose sugarcane as source of carbon as it is environmentally friendly, cheaper and abundant. Nevertheless, as time passing through, more studies could be done. We suggest to use nanotube technology for our studies in the future which has more pores and more functional group that could attract and obtain pollutant efficiently. Above all, as a human, we should be responsible for our earth by practicing lifestyle that could benefit to humans, animals and plants as we don't have any second planet to live. That's all from our group. Thank you!